hashtag. The Archbishop of Canterbury has admitted that disgraced post office boss Paula Venels should have been questioned more closely over her Church of England role. Venels, who is an ordained priest, was shortlisted for the position of Bishop of London in 2017. But now Justin Welby, who was one of her backers, has said they should have questioned how appropriate her involvement with the Church of England was at the time. Well, we're still joined by the inimitable Tatton Spiller. I couldn't say her name then after the word inimitable. That was uh, too much of a it's not challenge. Kind of name you forget. Inimitable to be Tatton Spiller. Yeah, That's the inimitable of, uh, Tatton Spiller. Should make kids repeat that on rote at nursery school yeah, to get we good should do. We should yeah. do. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so Paula Venels, I mean, it's. It seems to me, on the face of it, it's one of those situations where when someone starts getting some honorifics or some accolades, everyone just dumps the whole shopping list on, on, on them without much thought or care or attention. This whole post office scandal was taking place already, and yet somehow she's been fast-tracked to be the Bishop of London. Well, I think it's... We don't, we don't know how much the Archbishop of Canterbury knows. Today, he said he should have looked into it a bit more. Presumably, that wouldn't be an interview with her, because she would... Everyone's the hero in their own story, right? Mm. She would have said that she did a very good job and she looked after people. The scandal was there then, but she... it wasn't as publicised. Yeah, and he this didn't is know. The this is, when this someone is the gets deal. one senior title or one sort of thing, they get a the lot of it. This is the deal, right? While she was chief executive of the post office, presiding over, mm. you know, the worst legal scandal uh, in modern British history, uh, and questions still will be asked. I'm certain she's going to get her collar felt before too long. She needs to be investigated by the police for, for obvious reasons. But uh, as the CEO of the PO, uh, she was very much at the heart of the establishment. Now, when she left the post office, with a bit of a cloud beginning to form above her head that people mm -hmm. didn't quite know about, she was immediately given uh, directorships uh, on uh, major company boards and she was made the uh, chair of a National Health Trust uh, <laughs> and so on and so forth. What because, else was because, left for her because, to do? Because this is how the establishment works. It is. And uh, Justin Welby uh, is a part of the establishment. Oh, this woman, oh, whoa, she could be... She's only a part-time vicar. She used to go and sort of, I don't know, collect the... pass the collection box on a Sunday. Uh, let's make her Bishop of London. So he didn't really look uh, into it. He thought that uh, she was a member of the establishment, therefore we'll have her. Uh, she's at one of those good names for us. And he is now saying we should have asked a lot more questions. And he has also said uh, we will reflect on this. Well, I mean, he's the Archbishop. Reflecting is something he does a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's something they have the time for. That's a, a thing you do in church. Um, I think that it's a really odd world where the world of directors, because you do, you just become a director and then you move from thing to thing, like British Airways yeah. to the post office to, to wherever it is. Work. It's the establishment at work. Yeah. That's what it is. Uh, and uh, But the thing is, uh, as uh, Justin Welby will no doubt tell us, uh, God works in mysterious ways. You know, that's a good, lucky... Uh, old Paula, nearly became Bishop of London, uh, but didn't quite make it. Thank God for that. Thank God for Bye. that.